So here I am calling Ruger on the P85 safety modification. Remember that you can press 1 at any time to leave a message. You have reached the service group. All of our agents are currently assisting other customers. You are currently the first. Caller in line. Please stay on the line for the next available representative. Okay, so after about five minutes, uh, I got through and I talked to Lisa and told her that I wanted to check and see if my pistol was eligible for the modification. And she asked for the serial number. I had a little wait for the computer to find it. And so it was. Um, she asked for address and phone number and stuff and told me she was going to send me a box and we talked about the weather and you know we laughed and we cried and so they sent a box with a prepaid shipping all right so i'll get that done that was fairly quick uh number four and only took i don't know what Less than 10 minutes to make that call. So I got this box from Ruger today. <clears throat> they said, when I called <clears throat> for the safety recall, they said it would take uh, about two weeks. It was the 23rd when I called, and I got this the 31st of August. So it was a, it was a, a week and one day. So, so there's the uh, instructions on how to put it back in, fill this out. Uh, here it is, safety recall. This was issued I think in 1990 or 91. Uh, at the time I was active duty and in and out of the well, let's just say I was mostly deployed, so. Um, I remember getting the notice. I just never did anything about it, and I haven't really, sh I don't think I've shot it since then, so that was 19. That's been 20 years. Um, it's just been sitting in there, collecting dust. So, I'll pack this up, and, and today's a holiday, or this is a Labor Day weekend. So I won't be able to ship this till Tuesday, and then we'll see how long it takes. Okay, got her packed up. Put bubble wrap in there, mostly just to keep it from moving around once I get it all taped up. Sliding around, making noise. They sent a prepaid. Put that on. I have to. Going to the local UPS store here. Well, it's a whatever mailboxes, etc. Whatever it is. Ship that off, and then they said about two weeks, and they'd have it back to me. Here's to hoping. All right, so I got my P85 back from Ruger. Um, it would have been exactly two weeks from the day I shipped it to them if the UPS guy could have opened the gate and driven to the house. So he left a little card on the thing saying you know, no one was home basically. Well, we were here, it's just he didn't open the gate and drive in, so I had to stay the next day. And had to make sure I was home between 2 and 5, have the gate open, so just, you know. Anyway, so it went pretty good, two weeks. Uh, let's see if we can show, you can tell the modification they did. You can see 
that. I'm gonna focus there. Where it says, uh, Mark two. This is Mark two on the safety decocker. Right there. All right, so yeah, it went good. I'll have to test fire and make sure everything works so good, but it seems to be seems to work okay. This actually works a lot smoother than it was. Well, I sense it. Of course, I haven't shot it in 20 years, so it has a lot of built up whatevers. Alright, so yeah, if you guys have, if you have a P85 that's the safety recall, um, I would definitely do it. Um, uh, the notice that uh, you can get off their website on the internet says that they will send you that you have to you pay for shipping and they will send you they will send with the gun an extra mag uh, they sent me a prepaid shipping uh, tag so I did not get an extra mag but I don't need one I have plenty, but so it cost me absolutely nothing up front or anything because they sent me a they sent me the box with the shipping sticker for UPS. I don't know if that they do that for everybody or just I'm special or something. But yeah, either way, if you have to pay shipping, uh, they will send you a extra magazine. And you will receive your gun in a timely fashion. So.